time on Road Trolls. This is why my car cost around £2,000 when I went to buy the car itself. It didn't look like there were any serious problems with it at all. It drove fine, it pulled hard and it handled well. The tyres were running low on the inside a little bit, didn't look so bad. The brakes felt okay, plenty of meat on the pads, plenty of thickness on the disc, no ridges, nothing like that. And a gigantic smash in the windscreen. Have a look at this. But I thought it was reassuring that the guy selling it to me was a mechanic. However, he did have a Say It's Leon and an older one at that, with a 1.8 litre engine. And he said he preferred it to the GTI, that's why he was selling the GTI. And somebody had effectively given him the Leon. Um, alarm bells should have been ringing. But unfortunately, I buy with my heart and not with my head. So when I went on a kind of long journey with a few of my mates, I thought it'd be a good idea to get the car checked out. To give you an idea of scale, I was driving my car from London to France to Germany, Austria, Switzerland, across all the Swiss Alps, down through Italy, and then out again through France. There is a VW Specialist Center, quite close to where I live. So I thought I'll take it there. 72 quid for a little checkup. Yeah, peace of mind. <laughs> what could possibly be wrong? The car drives fine. I will tell you what could possibly be wrong. Cam belts. There is no record of a cam belt service ever having been done to this car. It's done 129,216 miles. The cam belt service is the belt itself, is the water pump, is the fluids, is the labour, it's 450 pounds. Spring, rear right spring, snapped off. Nice, huh? Had to replace those in pairs. 200 quid for parts, 108 for labour. Anti-roll bar link and bushes on the rear, all perished. Longitudinal arms, rear bushes, perished. Console bushes, left, perished. Console bushes, right, perished. Front disc brakes and pads. The disc brakes are rusted on the inside, and you've got to do the pads at the same time. Great. CV boots, left and right, shot. On the rear, Caliper, seized. Rear right disc, worn as a result. Needs new discs, pads, and a new caliper. Turn signal on the mirror. Missing, casing, smashed. Rear wiper blades, broken. Vacuum pump, oil leaking. Air conditioner, pencil stuck in blower. The total cost for all of these, to be done was £2,000. The total cost for this car, when I bought it, is £2,200. Total price for this car, £4,000. What did I do? Well, I decided to get some of the work done, but not all of the work done. I thought, what is completely necessary immediately? The CV boots, that split, not leaking considerable amount of oil, that's fine. The guys did the pencil stuck in the air con compressor thing, blower, fan, whatever, free of charge. Uh, the oil leak from the vacuum pump they've left. Um, the caliper on the back's been done with a refurbed one. It's nice, shiny and red. And I've had the brakes, the pads and discs on the back done. Front pads and discs I have not had done. I've had none of the bushes done. And the rear right spring is still snapped. Thing is, I've had it for a while now, so I've gotten used to it day to day, and it does make a lot of noise. A lot of kind of rumbling noises when you go over undulating surfaces, and I've noticed the ride, the secondary ride, when you go over jiggly bits of road, isn't as good as I thought it should be, and um, that's probably why. So, I went on this trip, and um, yeah, I'm gonna make a little video of this trip, and, and I'll tell you what went wrong. Thanks.